Welcome back to the program. Now, as kids head out on their bikes this summer, it is important to keep safety in mind. And here with some advice is Dr. Trent Thompson, a physician at Dean Clinic. Good morning, Dr. Thompson. Good morning. All Thank right, you. so you actually have a personal connection to all of this. I do. Um, unfortunately, a month ago, a month ago Monday, my son Heath, who's a seven-year-old, was riding down the driveway at our house. And we have a cul-de-sac right in front of our house. And uh, unfortunately, he just took a turn a little too sharp. Unfortunately, um, he was wearing his helmet, but went down on his left arm and hit his arm and then hit his head. And uh, my wife was there watching, and, and he started screaming, and she went to check his head, and his head was fine, and then looked, and unfortunately, his elbow was really deformed. And um, we got to spend the night at St. Mary's Hospital, mm -hmm. and the next morning had, uh, had surgery. And, and you can see, unfortunately, the, those bones aren't quite in the right position on his x-ray there. Oh, wow. Um, and so Dr. Jason Sansoni and the talented staff at St. Mary's put three pins in his arm. And yesterday he had surgery to uh, take the pins out and uh, recast, and he's doing quite well now. But fortunately, he was wearing his helmet. And my wife and I, for my son and daughter, say, if you're not wearing your helmet, you're not going to be riding your bike. And, mm -hmm. and it was an awful injury in a month and a cast, and he's, he's mm -hmm. going to be fine. But a, an injury to the head can be far, far worse. And this idea of kids going to the emergency room with bike-related injuries is pretty common. I mean, your trip there, it's not as if that's mm -hmm. an isolated issue. No, approximately a half million people go to emergency rooms every year for bike in injuries, and um, over half of those are kids. And the, about a third of those um, injuries that uh, people go to the emergency room for um, involve head injuries. And uh, they're such a serious injury that, that even though it's only a third of injuries, two-thirds of the admissions um, are related to, uh, to head injuries. Mm -hmm. And three-quarters of the fatalities of the actual deaths are related to head injuries from bike accidents. So it seems obvious that if you just wear a helmet, you can at least lessen you know, those issues. So what, what is the problem? Why aren't kids wearing the helmets? Well, it's, it's becoming certainly more common than it was when I was a kid and mm -hmm. we didn't have helmets. Um, but uh, I think kids feel like, well, I'm invincible, it'll never happen to me, or I'm just right out in front of my house. Like, for example, my son Heath, he was literally right in front of our house. Mm -hmm. um, some people feel that they don't fit well, but certainly the helmets we have today, you can get a helmet that fits well. They, to, wearing a helmet decreases the odds of having a serious head injury by 88 percent. I mean, it's just, it's an incredible tool. It, it saves lives. Um, and like all the fatalities that we have in the United States from bike injuries, if people are wearing their helmets, the odds of, of death and, and serious traumatic injuries um, decrease significantly. So we were talking before we started uh, this interview about the accessibility issue. What did you all do in the Fort Atkinson schools to try and help promote this? Um, yes, uh, over the last year I've been fortunate enough to be a part of a, a Dean Physician Leadership mm -hmm. um, program and so with a small group of doctors and, and physicians assistants through that group we were able to uh, create a community project where we went to Fort Atkinson and worked with a gym teacher there, uh, Mark Sykes, who um, allowed us to come in and talk to the first graders and the fourth graders. We brought cr Crash Helmet, this big sort of Dean mascot, um, along with us. And uh, we were able to give some free helmets to kids who didn't have helmets um, through uh, Trek gave us a bunch of beautiful helmets and, and a grant from the Dean Foundation. So we've got, we've got about a half a minute left, and I want you to actually talk to the, the properly fitting issue here. Can you mm -hmm. kind of speak to kind of how that's supposed to go? Yes, um, helmets are great. They save lives. Um, you want to make sure they're secure on the head. So when you move your head around, it doesn't jiggle all over. Yeah. Um, it should come pretty low over the forehead, so only like one or two fingers um, can, uh, can fit from the forehead to the top of the helmet. Should have a little Y that goes around the ears. And then when you open your, um, open your mouth as wide as you can, it should feel snug but not tight. Okay, good advice. Now just need to get those helmets out there exactly. and on the kids' heads. Wear your right. helmets. Thank you, Dr. Thompson. Thank you. Thanks for being with us.